Hey everyone, we're back in the video, and today we're talking about the Toronto Maple Leafs. Obviously, we know the Maple Leafs are down two to nothing in the series in the semifinals against the Florida Panthers. Um, yeah, so they're down two to nothing. What can they do to turn around this? Obviously, the two games were at home in Toronto. Now they go to Sunrise, Florida, and they're away, which home advantage has not really mattered whatsoever this year. And in previous years, um, it's really a disadvantage of anything sometimes for uh, teams. It just is. Um, and Florida, good for them to, you know, take this and get a 2 nothing series lead on the Toronto Maple Leafs and do what they just did there. You know, so um, fantastic by the Maple Leafs, you know, after good shock. So great, Bobrovsky being the old Bobrovsky that we know him of. Back in Columbus, being that top goalie for so many years, um, he's playing fantastic. And hey, if he wins, you know the Panthers move on. The be first time Bobrovsky has ever went past the second round, you know. Uh, but for the Maple Leafs, is, that's what we're talking about today. Is the Maple Leafs? Uh, what can they do? You know, we found out that uh, Matthew Knives, uh, former Minnesota University NCAA player that lost in the NCAA. Uh, tournament there against Quinnipiac um, has a concussion. He will be out for games three and four. But if they, you know, win a game or two, he'll, it looks like he'll, he'll be uh, keeping uh, Matthew Knives out for the series. But at least game three and four, Matthew Knives will be gone. Um, look at your four group. You have Matthews. You have Tavares, Marno, Nylander, Kerfoot, Yonkirk, O'Reilly, Camp, Achari, uh, Lafferty, Bunting, Knives, of course, out. Simmons is not really doing much. And Aston Reese on your four group. Um, you look at that. Nylander could get another goal. Um, you know, we could look, really look at him and say, hey, he could really go for another goal going into game three. Marno could also go for another goal. He's been playing fantastic, getting a lot of points. But he has two goals in the playoffs so far, but a lot of points. Uh, but they could use a goal definitely for Mitch Marno, for sure. Tavares, yes. Matthews, absolutely. Both of them, they can definitely use um, goals on those guys. Absolutely. Um, they just can't get the game away from them. First period, they play fantastic. And then the second and third period, Florida just says, hey, we're coming back. And they stun them. Uh, with two quick goals, you know, it was 2 nothing Toronto. Florida gets a goal. Here comes into the second period. Two quick goals in the beginning of the uh, second period, making it three two, and the pan and the Leafs are like, hold on, wait, we just had the lead two nothing two one okay, and how did it become three two all of a sudden? They just let it leave them, on um, the game. So, that is a problem for the Leafs. They need to you know do something about that for sure. Um, you have some depth scoring here. Ryan O'Reilly is a big factor here. He's been playing amazing. He's a um, great, experienced guy who won the Stanley Cup with the Blues in 2019, understands adversity um, with the Blues. And, you know, you look at him and you think, you know, he's already shown how important he is in the playoffs and he needs to show up for the playoffs in Game 3 in Sunrise. Um, very important. He has some bombs. Um, Six players like David Kampf, very, uh, very good for the face-off. You need that to be good. Uh, Sam Lafferty could have a good game. Uh, Zach Aston Reese can do something for you. He has a little experience there, too, with Pittsburgh in previous times. Um, you know, you look at the defense. You have Morgan Riley, who's been playing fantastic. Uh, really stepping up for him. Really great uh, playoffs it's been for him. TJ Brody, Justin Hall, Jake McCabe, Lennon Green. Shan Timmons, Giordano, and Gustafson. Um, yeah, so Hall has obviously been scratched. Um, every time there's a goal against Toronto, he's been on the ice, literally. Maple Leafs fans haven't been happy with him in this playoffs, and I should say for the last couple of years, wanting him to be traded. But um, he's up on his contract this year, and I think you're not going to see him back with the Leafs next year. But um, Justin Hall, yeah, you're not going to see him. Jake McCabe. Um, he's just a solid defenseman, McCabe. He got him for the next three years, or the next two years, actually, not counting this year. Uh, two more years after this, that's, that's a really good deal. 
uh, 50% retained, it was 4 million, but the Hawks, and then they just retained 50% to 2 million. But that's a fantastic deal right there. Really underrated. I, li I really like uh, Jake McCabe. He's just a, such a good, solid um, defenseman. And they can do really well with him, for sure. That was a really good pickup. Luke Shen, same thing with him. Really good. Um, the guys always like him if you, when he was in Vancouver and with Tampa Bay and win the cup in Tampa Bay and all that stuff. So that's going to help. Giordano, we know how great of a defense he's been his whole career. But um, I wonder if you start to scratch him, you know what I mean? You know, in bringing A.L. Gustafson. A.L. Gustafson has, is more of a puck-moving guy. Uh, even though Giordano's that guy, you know, you think of... Gustafson's a little bit, obviously, younger, eight years younger, you know. Um, he can move the puck. He played really well in Washington, and it's just another option. I think you should try him in game three. I really do over Giordano. Not saying I don't like Giordano. I think he's a fantastic defenseman through his whole career. I was a big fan of him. But um, it is what you have. You know, you look at game three, you're down two to nothing. You got to do something. So, yeah, and we know the goaltending isn't going to change you between... Uh, Murray, Samsonov, and Wool. Obviously, it's going to be Samsonov. Uh, can't blame too much on Samsonov, obviously, but we'll see how things are for sure. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. There's any chalk news reports. This is what it's all about. The Leafs trying to make it past the second round now. Not the first round, uh, but that's good. They passed the first round for themselves, you know. Um, they know they have to do that. That was crucial absolutely crucial but um yeah so the yankees oh not sorry i was just looking at the yankees go for a sec but the um the toronto maple leafs yeah that is it and we'll see what happens for them um and yeah so be very interesting if they can win game three if not that's they just did themselves a big hole but it's already a big hole already down to nothing but hey you never know you never know but bobrovsky has been on fire so you know you can't stop him at the moment you know he's just been fantastic and even at that late third period they try to pebble him with shots no they won't let Bobrovsky wasn't letting that go you know they'll get to keep it 3-2 and the score stayed 3-2 so thank you for watching see you next video bye